Major funding for the Magic School Bus is provided by the National Science Foundation, supporting education and research in science, mathematics, and technology. And Microsoft Home supports the Magic School Bus and other programs that further learning, exploration, and discovery. Additional funding is provided by U.S. Department of Energy and Carnegie Corporation of New York. Seatbelts, everyone! Please let this be a normal field trip with a friend. No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you see it. What's in the neighborhood? Surfing on the sine wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a look at the two intestines. Pick your second right past Mars on the Magic School Bus. Alligator Nostrum. Climb on the Magic School Bus. Make a plane to the two. Take that. I love Magic School Bus. Rock the river of love. On the Magic School Bus. Such a fine thing to do. So strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on the magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, ride on the magic school bus. near our house. And you were running because you were in a hurry because you couldn't wait to show me what you did for our two beach things that go together report, right? Oh, I knew I forgot something. You mean you didn't bring anything either? Just my bathing suit and a towel. 
<laughs> and the scum on your shoe. <laughs> <laughs> scum and a tuna fish sandwich. DA, why didn't we think of that? But do scum and a tuna fish sandwich go together? Hey, maybe they do. Think, 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 think. No. Oh, great. Not only do I get slimed by pond scum, but I forget my report. I knew I should have stayed home today. Hey! We can't just give up, Arnold. We have to work with what we've got. But Keisha! Oh, good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Frizzle. We have an exciting day ahead of us, haven't we? Hey, Tang, you guys! Maybe she'll forget the reports. And the first thing on the agenda is your two beach things that go together reports. Then again, maybe she won't. Mm, let's start with um, Ralphie and Phoebe. Phew. Why the sun and dune grass go together by us. All rights reserved. Dune grass, like other plants, uses the energy from the sun to make its own food. No sun, no dune grass. No sun, no nothing! Hello, Keisha and Arnold. Why don't you go next? Yes, well, uh, <clears throat> uh, We brought this, um, nutritious tuna fish sandwich. And... This delightful green scum. You did? Why, that is absolutely fantastic. It is? So tell us what the connection is between delightful green scum and a nutritious tuna fish sandwich. Um, uh, they, they both have, um, adjectives? <laughs> Oh dear, hold that thought. It's time to go to the beach. Oh, but don't worry. We'll finish your reports when we get back. Line up by the door, please. Saved by the bell. Yeah, I never thought I'd be glad to go on a field trip. A nice, peaceful day at the beach. Forget it, Arnold. Everyone else will have a wonderful time, but we've got work to do. Now concentrate. How does your scum go with my sandwich? Uh, you know, class, this trip just might give you the answer you're looking for. I wonder if she knows we don't know. She knows everything. Well, not exactly everything. It's your job as scientists to look for connections. Connections? You mean how things go together? <gasps> exactly. We're here, everybody out! There's dune grass with the sun beaming down on it. And here's a rock. Covered with Gus's family. Look at them all. It's a regular muscle beach. <laughs> Carlos. And here's a crab burrowing into the sand. Look up there. That's a gull, isn't it? I wonder what it's doing. Wow! It just ate that crab. Chair is making me hungry. Hmm. Everyone else's reports seem so obvious. <gasps> Arnold, you're eating our report. Oh, sorry. I forgot. Arnold, we've got to figure out the connection between my sandwich and your scum. Ready to explore this environment in a bit more depth? Huh? Now? But we just got here. Uh-oh. I'm getting that old field trip feeling again. Come on, Arnold. I know we can figure it out if we try. 
Seatbelts, everyone! H2O, here we go! <laughs> Socks get wet. Can I have my shoe back? No way. We need it for our report. Ooh, look. There's some seaweed. What are those? They're beautiful. Those are sea urchins, Tim. They eat seaweed. And sea otters eat them. Do you really think they otter? Bad, Carlos. Are you looking, Arnold? What do you see down there? Well, I'm trying hard to look for connections, just as you say. But I can't see past all that green stuff. Yuck, it's going all scummy. Did you say scummy? That's it. Look, Keisha, scum. Excellent observation, Arnold. This scum is called phytoplankton. Phytoplankton? Phytoplankton. Phytoplankton! Yes, little tiny plants. Wait a second. Does that mean the scum on Arnold's shoe is some kind of phytoplankton? Ah, care to try my marvelous mega magnifier, mayhaps? Sea scum. Shoe scum. Not exactly the same, but not far off. What do you think, Keisha? Should we take a closer look? Sure, why not? No, Keisha, you don't know what you're saying. I know that tone of voice. It means something weird is going to happen. <laughs> Did we just shrink? We did. We are now as tiny as phytoplankton. And that's seriously tiny. Class, you will notice that the bus is equipping each of us with a specially designed underwater breathing mask. So, get messy, make mistakes, get out there and explore! I'll go first! This is so cool! And so wet! Wow! And remember, look for connections. Got it. supposed to find a tuna fish sandwich in the middle of the ocean when we're the size of phytoplankton. Who knows? Maybe there's teeny tiny phytoplankton operated sandwich tins. And to think that when we're big, all this just looks like green scum. Amazing, isn't it? Arnold, what are you doing? Who? Me? Arnold? We have to figure out what all this has got to do with my tuna fish sandwich. And we have to figure it out now. Hey, Keisha! Look at me! <laughs> Is it my imagination or do they look hungry? <laughs> it's not just you, Ralphie. These bigger creatures are eating the phytoplankton. So, as I always say, it's better to be in the bus Whoa! than to be in something else. Oh, nature never ceases to amaze me. Phew. We were nearly lunch at first sight. Just your average day at the beach with the frizz. Okay, bus. Do your stuff. Congratulations! We are now the size of zooplankton. Zooplankton? I wonder if that's what Jess tried to eat us. Very good, Keisha. Zooplankton eat phytoplankton. Zooplankton are tiny animals that live in the water. 
This way, class. We've got to take chances. Get messy. Get eaten. And don't forget to look for connections. Oh, Miss Frizzle, this is a big ocean. We'll never find a connection between scum and a tuna fish sandwich. Of course you will, Keisha. Stay with your partner. But... <sighs> hey, Keisha. We thought phytoplankton looked weird. Get a load of these guys. They are not guys, Carlos. There's no plankton. There don't seem to be as many of them as there were of the phytoplankton. Good observation, Tim. What else do you notice? Anyone? Those giant things. Very good, Phoebe. Those giant things are anchovies. They're a kind of fish. Anchovies? You mean the salty things my dad puts on his pizza when he doesn't want me to eat it? You may not like anchovies, Ralphie, but they might like you. I wonder if that's because we're the size of zooplankton. Keisha's right, class. As you can see, anchovies eat zooplankton. Can anyone guess where this is leading? To lunch? Precisely. All right, everyone. Back in the bus. <laughs> Ready, bus? Well done. We are now the size of an anchovy. I suggest we stay in the bus while we have our lunch. But there's so much to see out there. Oh, excellent observation, Wanda. At my old school, we always had to stay in the bus if we ate lunch in the ocean. <coughs> Since we can't eat our report, do you want some organic potato chips? No, thanks. I had some phytoplankton earlier. You did? Listen, Arnold, time is running out, and we don't have our report yet. Scum, tuna fish sandwich, scum, tuna fish sandwich. What's in a tuna fish sandwich anyway? Mayonnaise, tuna fish, maybe a little vinegar, some chopped celery. Did you say tuna fish? Um, yeah. Arnold, you may accidentally be a genius! What does a tuna fish look like? I don't know. I never saw one without mayonnaise. DA, quick! There's got to be a picture of a tuna fish in one of your books. Here! An albacore tuna! I got it! I got the connection! What eats phytoplankton? Zooplankton! And what eats zooplankton? Little fish like anchovies! And what eats little fish like anchovies? Well, are now inside an albacore tuna. Cheer up, Arnold. We're off the hook. We know how your scum and my tuna fish sandwich are connected. <sighs> you know, it's a tuna eat scum world out there. No, 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 listen. Tuna don't eat scum. Scum gets eaten by zooplankton, which get eaten by little fish like anchovies, which get eaten by tuna. Our report's in the bag. But the bag's in a tuna's tummy. Who knows what you call something that's connected, linked together? You mean like a chain? Oh, very good, Tim. Tuna are linked to phytoplankton by what they eat. Tuna and phytoplankton belong to the same food chain. Food chain? A chain of food? I could get into that. Me too. Phytoplankton, zooplankton, fish, and people too. We're all in a food chain. Scum, this fish, and you. Humans are usually at the very top of the food chain. But for once, we're actually inside it. Hmm. We are also in the perfect position to study a tuna's digestive system. What? Now? Miss Frizzle, do you think we could go back to school now? Arnold and I need to do our report. Well, if you insist, I guess we could leave the tuna's digestive system for another day. <sighs> Way to go, Arnold. Good. 
Okay, class, take your seats. Here we go! Already have a bus. This is it, Ralphie. The wave of our dreams. When we get back to the classroom, we will discuss our observations. Surf up! Arnold, do you observe what I observe? She's hanging ten. There really is more to Miss Frizzle than meets the eye. So to wrap up our report, allow us to show you the artwork we've commissioned. An original Tim. Here we have our recent experience. The ocean food chain. It works like this. Scum, or phytoplankton, are eaten by zooplankton, which are eaten by small fish like anchovies, which are eaten by big fish like tuna. It's so efficient, Carlos! <laughs> and this class is a land food chain. Yeah, a mouse eats grass seed. A snake eats the mouse. And the hawk eats the snake. The hawk is at the top of this food chain. What's at the bottom? Hmm? Grass. So, what's at the bottom of the ocean food chain? Well, I think... Phytoplankton! And what do phytoplankton and grass have in common? You step on them both. Arnold! <laughs> They're both plants. Hey, wait a minute. Do all food chains begin with plants? <gasps> yes, they do! Each and every one of them! <laughs> well, if scum and a tuna fish sandwich are connected, I guess just about everything must be connected somehow, huh? Hey, where's my shoe? never ceases to amaze me. As I always say, if the shoe is clean, wear it. <laughs> <laughs> second wrong number, this is the Magic School Bus Show. No way! I was just watching it. That's why I was so hungry. Maybe you can clear up a few things for me. I'll try. People are on top of the food chain, right? Except I don't eat just tuna. I eat lots of things. So am I on top of lots of food chains? You are. So what do you call a lot of chains put together? A pile? Am I at the top of a food pile? Actually, a lot of different chains mixed together are called a food web. I get it. So if things are connected in a chain, what if something happens to one part of the chain? Well, it'll make something happen to everything else in the chain. It's all connected. Okay. But, you know, it's not true that all the food chains start with plants. I read about some plants and animals living deep in the ocean that get their energy from chemicals. Yes, but they're weird. Weird? You say they're weird. Since when does a tuna eat a school bus? Well, it could if the bus were small enough and looked like a delicious anchovy. Yes, but you and I both know school buses don't shrink, and they don't go in the ocean. Yeah, magic school buses do. Being magic can make all the difference. And Ms. Frizzle 
must be magic. Why do you say that? Because somehow she can hang ten between math lessons and report marking. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, thanks for calling. Bye. Why, thank you, Liz. This looks del... Funding for the Magic School Bus is provided by the National Science Foundation, supporting education and research in science, mathematics, and technology. And Microsoft Home supports the Magic School Bus and other programs that further learning, exploration, and discovery. Additional funding is provided by U.S. Department of Energy and Carnegie Corporation of New York. Visit your local library and read more about science in the Magic School Bus and other science books. <laughs> 